So I wrote this post about uh, personalized videos and a lot of that was centered around what Idamu do. And we've got Dotan with us. Hey, Dotan. Hello. Thanks for doing this. So um, tell us what sort of things that you guys are, uh, are up to. What's possible? Because uh, you're working with some pretty impressive clients. Yeah. So Idamu is a technology uh, company. The, we have a very scalable uh, video engine that in a nutshell can take almost any creative and uh, data personalization and combine it together. Uh, we are agnostic from where the data is coming from and we are agnostic, the technology is agnostic uh, on the distribution, on the omni-channel way of distribu- distributing this, um, uh, the, the personalized videos. And as, as you said, we're working uh, in the UK uh, with some impressive brands such as uh, Tesco and O2 and Barclays and Lloyds and BT, uh, Vodafone, uh, uh, etc. and many more. Um, IDENU uh, has a global reach. Uh, part of the UK, we have offices in New York, in Singapore, in Brazil. And uh, the uh, technology team uh, is an Israeli based uh, in Tel Aviv. So that's in a nutshell, if it makes sense. Interesting, you, you said you're agnostic to the delivery. Mm-hmm. So, for example, I received uh, a video from Tesco via email, but you're saying yeah. that it could go out on, on any platform like Facebook or YouTube or whatever? Yeah, we did a pre roll campaign with O2. We are doing uh, in uh, in an app campaign with Exxon Mobile. We do uh, an IPTV campaign uh, with uh, a Portuguese uh, broadcaster. We did um, um, after the firewall campaign with uh, Sky. So if you can deliver from from a technology infrastructure point of view, if you can make a delivery, then the video, as we are talking about a link that that leaves, the video leaves uh, on the cloud. So it makes the uh, delivery or the presentation of the video uh, quite simple. uh, And as as I've mentioned, in different distribution channels. Okay, so what kind of uh, things are you doing? Like, is there um, a, a pattern to the sort of data that you're pulling out of people's database, or, or, or are you doing lots of different things? So let, let's let's first talk about uh, personalization. Uh, what does it uh, actual means? So we can take uh, basically three levels of personalization. One is, is and, and think about your, uh, the, the uh, Tesco uh, video that you have received. So one, one is, is voiceover. Hello, Stephen. Here's a quick summary of your latest club card statement. Although they, uh, they said Stephen and not Steve, <laughs> this is, you know, this is probably um, the, the way that your name is on their uh, database, right? Yeah. So first is, is voiceover. Uh, second is obviously text, you know, different, different text formats and different way to present text. The te- text is, is all. Over the past three months, you've earned this many points. Third is, is scene selections, meaning your video is basically a combination of different scenes, uh, text and voiceover combined together Uh, according to a predefined logic. So based on your profile, based on your behavior, the the brand, in this case Tesco, uh, is trying to grab your attention, and this is why they put your name at the beginning, so it's interesting for you. They are trying to hold your attention by having a video, so a visual element, but also provide you and talk to you around things that are relevant to you, uh, so, you know, personalization. Uh, then they provide you some valuable information, i.e. The, co- the coupons, 
Uh, and then they are providing you personalized click to actions uh, in, a, in, in, a, in a nice and effective way on the video, around the video, on the landing page, uh, etc. So all those steps together uh, basically creating that effectiveness and, and, and this campaign and other campaigns are extremely effective in terms of engagement and in terms of conversion. Uh, customer attention, etc. How Mark, this video will take you through the current status of your mortgage. In March 2012, the amount owed on your mortgage was £145,340. Your current variable interest rate is 5.1%. And during the year, you made monthly payments totaling £12,100, comprised of £7,300 interest and £4,800 of capital repayments. As you now have £39,460 equity in your home against the most recent valuation, you could use some of this for home improvements. For example, a £15,000 loan for a new kitchen would add just £130 to your monthly payment, and you would still pay off your mortgage in 2026. Mark, click below to find out about special home improvement loans and remortgage deals. Agile Bank, financing the future. So in general, we, you know, we're talking about four steps in, in, a, in a customer journey, in a customer life cycle. Uh, acquisition, welcome, in life and retention. And, and we're, doing, uh, we're doing projects uh, around those uh, four steps. So customers uh, are doing, again, are, are doing acquisition or retargeting uh, based on either CRM data or paid media, or they're buying data on, on customers, so this is one. Welcome uh, onboarding is, is a very, uh, is, I would say, is a very uh, big chunk of our activities. So, for example, uh, Barclays doing all their welcome uh, programs today uh, with persons' videos, meaning retail, business, and, and wealth customers. Uh, in life is everything around upgrade, upgrading your contract, uh, product, think about uh, financial services, offering uh, mortgages or you know pensions, etc. And around retention, so you know towards your end of your uh, contract, the brand will approach you in a very nice and emotional and personalized way. Hi, Danny. Do you know who I am? You know me very well because I am you. But within 30 years from now, I am sending this message from 2044 because I want to thank you for thinking of me. Or rather for thinking of me back in 2014. And to help you make the right choice that has allowed me to live more comfortably at retirement. As you have already made a contribution to your pension at BBVA this year, I encourage you to contribute to the maximum of 12,500 euro, which is the limit for those who, like you, are over 50 years old. I'm wondering, actually, how, uh, you know, your method of doing it, this, this, this technique, might compare uh, cost-wise to a direct mail thing that some of these companies might have done before, because actually the cost of designing, printing, and most importantly, posting out all of these things, which might just end up in the recycling, like have companies, uh, you know, it, it might seem like, well, a video, that sounds like an expensive thing to do. This is so clever. This must, you know, cost a lot. But I'm wondering how those two things balance up. So I, I would say uh, the following. Uh, if you're looking on, on the, uh, the, there's three major components in delivering uh, person's videos. One is the video, so we don't do the video, and uh, there's you, you you know you, you're more familiar with that, and there's there's a, a wide range of video costs, um, and uh, production and, and and creative, you know it depends on, on your on on the agency on on the content and, and the sky sky the limits, you know if you want to take a celebrity that might cost you millions. If you just want to take a uh, you know a presenter and do live shooting, that will cost you X. If you want to do animation, it will cost you Y. But this is 
this is a cost and it's you cannot compare it to uh, direct uh, email because or to post because uh, you don't have that uh, critical element so you need to compare it to something else so, but but this is one cost the other cost is is our cost we are you know basically we are uh, uh, if you uh, if you compare it to the uh, the cost of sending an email of course we are uh, much more expensive if you compare it to sending a, a, um, a post, a letter, then we are, then we will be uh, less expensive. Uh, distribution, sending an, an email or sending person's video will cost you the same. So it, it I think where it works well is uh, looking on the effectiveness, comparing it to uh, for example, one of the one of the KPIs, one of the benefits is, uh, of course, brand exposure. So, if you compare it to above the line advertising, uh, then you know this is much more effective. If you compare it uh, one to one uh, to email, then then we are more more expensive. Uh, so, th this is uh, I would say this is a more complex more um, um, a wider conversation about that so you guys if a client comes to you you don't actually create the videos no we are not creating the video I would say here in the UK 80% we are collaborating with the creative and production uh, teams in some cases we will be one uh, stop shop where we we will come you know we will subcontract this to one of the agencies that already familiar with our technology etc but we you know we are uh, more profitable when we deliver more more videos we are technology companies and we're trying to stick to that uh, to the technology and to the best practices around the usage of uh, personal videos uh, I'm not a creative guy um, I've seen a lot of projects and videos so I can uh, share my experience, uh, but that's it. Uh, we need somebody else to come up with the uh, storytelling and we will just make it uh, much more effective, uh, etc. Uh, we, in a way, uh, creating an opportunity for the brand uh, to convey a message to uh, to its customers, uh, because this is this is a major challenge. You know, there's uh, less people interest in uh, are interested in either generic uh, communication or uh, something which is not digital. So we can do both digital and video and and relevant to you. So, and, and this is where where it's uh, it's very powerful. Hello. We created this video just for you to show you how your electricity use this season compares to your past seasonal use and that of other PPL Electric Utilities customers. This summer, this was your average monthly electricity use. You used more electricity than you did this past spring. Compared to summer last year, you used more electricity this year. You might be interested to know that compared to the average of all other PPL Electric Utilities customers, you used about 22% more electricity this summer. Here are four factors that could have affected your electricity use and costs for this season. If a smaller business was thinking, you know, I, I, maybe this is something I'd like to try, is there like a, a tipping point where it becomes possible to do it, be it within the amount of data you need, like, is there like a? Uh, is it only available to the big boys, basically? So the the answer is no. Uh, so we work in two ways. One is uh, working with with big brands on on I would say um, like in in a project type in a, in a full service where where we work to the, with them and the creative agency together, and this is. Um, this is where the, the data element is more complex. Uh, in some cases, we work in a real-time mode, and you need an, an API 
uh, API call integration, uh, etc. But we also work in a self-service mode, so you can do that. For example, you know when when you have a limited uh, budget and uh, but also capacity, then uh, self-service will work. Uh, you know, in a better in a better mode. But if you're doing something which is uh, more complex, uh, both from from creative logic data all together, then then you, then you need uh, then you need more more effort. Uh, what does but, the self service mode look like? Like, how does that work? So it is uh, uh, so it's a platform. Uh, where you are basically, uh, after you are filming your video, uh, and again in the mindset of personalization, then uh, you uh, you can upload the scenes um, into the into the platform. Again, I'm, I'm talking in a, in a in a high level way. So you 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 can you will upload. You are uploading the uh, the scenes on the platform. Uh, and then uh, you have a UI that enables you to integrate the data according to placeholder that, that you are defining. Um, we're talking about Adobe After Effects, okay? And then you, through the, uh, through the platform, you can basically generate uh, the, uh, the videos, and uh, which is creating... Uh, personalized URL, and then you can distribute it, integrate it into an email campaign, and and, and integrate that. If you if you are interested in a in a more in depth uh, uh, training on that, you know, I'm happy to link you to to somebody that can do that with you. Man, that sounds great. So it uh, it it is totally doable by a smaller a smaller yeah. operation. Yeah, 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 yeah. We. We work with uh, a lot of small agencies uh, that you know do different kinds of of campaigns. Uh, the business model is is also different, but it's something that it's within the uh, the entry level is is within the thousands and not within the uh, dozens of thousands and and up to that. So yeah. Hello, Tom. Thank you for inquiring regarding insurance at Delight Auto Insurance. By now, your Toyota Corolla insurance quote, including yourself and an additional driver over the age of 24, is waiting for you on our website. Agency can do personalized videos <clears throat> in a manual way. Uh, the downside is that it's, a, it's very, very expensive. It's not in scale, so they can do 1,000. We can do 10 million. And uh, because it's manual and not automatic, it's it's uh, there's there's always the risk of uh, error, etc. Uh, because we're giving them uh, a platform, an engine, uh, technology. This give uh, I think and believe that it gives uh, both uh, creative agency or agencies, not just creative agencies and brands, um, a very interesting opportunity. What do you think the future? holds for personalized video? Uh, people would like to get communication in a, in a relevant and, and personalized way uh, and, an and in an interesting way and, and that will grow. So if I'm, so the future is one, it will go to TV as well. Um, and you start see areas where personalization is in in TV commercial and you know above the, you know I don't want to watch uh, an ad that is not relevant to me so that, that that's an area that that will grow uh, I think there are some sectors that are still behind so we're doing a, a big push into travel now. Uh, we're just doing our first project with with a big travel brand, but you know the rest they they they're not doing that. Uh, by the end by the end of the day, I think um, um, it it will grow into something that I'm not sure if it will be a commodity, but it will will be much more common. Uh, 
I'm today, so this is my second year. First year, uh, we've tried to define this as, as an innovative uh, approach. Now uh, we are we are not any more innovation. This is you know this is uh, should be a, a business as usual uh, part of of um, omnichannel communication plan. Um, we have enough results uh, to support that. Um, yeah, this is this is what I think. Awesome. Uh, I will put some links around this video uh, to, to some of the stuff that you guys are up to. But I really appreciate you taking the time uh, to talk to us. And um, it's I, I, it just totally makes sense. It's a great way to go for companies, I think. It will be interesting to see what smaller companies uh, can do. But being inspired by the bigger companies is, uh, is, is great at the moment. Thanks so much. All the best to everybody at Idamu. Thanks a lot. Uh, it was a pleasure. Hope you enjoy spending your club card vouchers. 